Okay, we're from back again. Our topic today is indirect tax. Indirect tax is a tax imposed by one person and uh, paid by another person. It is a tax shifted to another person. Uh, in indirect tax, we have uh, uh, we have a consumption tax. Uh, Indirect tax, this is a tax, a tax uh, shifted, in, shifted in to another, uh, another person. Uh, this uh, uh, also is a tax imposed by one person uh -huh, and paid by and paid by another person another a person okay in indirect tax uh, we have uh, consumption tax consumption tax uh, consumption tax uh, consumption tax is a tax charge, charge on money uh, spent on goods and services is a tax a cha charging uh, on money on money spent uh, on goods and services on goods and uh, on goods and services okay in the consumption tax we have uh, value added tax value added Value added tax or VAT. Value added tax. Okay, so value added tax is a tax paid on consumed product. Uh, is a tax paid on consumed tax paid uh, on uh, consumed uh, product. Uh, on consumer the product, uh, it is usually paid, paid by final consumer. It is uh, usually uh, paid by paid by a uh, final consumer. Final final uh, consumer. Okay, so. Uh, Indirect uh, value added tax uh, for obtaining value added tax value uh, added tax um, you get uh, value added times 18 percent because value added tax rate is usual 18 percent okay uh, so now value added value added obtained by taking selling price selling a price a minus buying buying price um, uh, is also obtained by taking income income uh, minus expenses. This um, formula of uh, value uh, uh, value added or added value. Talking about uh, value added is a profit made by a business. This is value added is a um, profit made by a business. A profit is a like a profit. Um, so now, for better understanding the uh, indirect tax, especially value added tax, let us take an example. Okay. So here we have example on value added tax. A value added tax. Timber industry which you make children furniture, usually sells its product to a, spe a specialized distributor. In November, the account displayed the following information. See, so the production, 150 fra, a purchasing of wood, 35,000, 
a purchasing of vanity uh, and the small furniture at uh, 12,000 purchasing external services 30,000 and the salaries and social expenses uh, 7,000 miscellaneous expenses 10,000 this figure do not include the value added tax. So the question is this calculate the added value that was achieved by the firm during that month. Uh, B, what would be the value added tax calculated at the rate of 18%? Okay, so talking about the value added tax, I uh, have understand the profit. So now let us um, make uh let us uh, continue with uh -huh. okay so now a uh, solution is a uh, solution will be like this a solution will be like this and so now, this assessment, um, when, we, uh, when we, uh, we talk about uh, sold production, this is the all, all income this timber industry received. received. Okay, so now, uh, here we have uh, expenses, uh, the money uh, expenses, the money timber industries spend during the production and we have income income uh, timber industries displayed the following information during the production process okay they purchase wood when you you buy you spend money so this means that this money would be included in the side of expenses. A purchase of wood, purchase wood, wood for the amount of thirty uh, thirty 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 five thousand. Um, Purchasing of external services, they spend money because they purchase, they, they give up money and they receive uh, so the services. Um, and the purchasing of furnishes and the small furniture, this included also inside of expenses. So talking about the expenses, is the money, is the money spent on something? While income is the money received for a given period. Okay, so now another element of expenses here is the purchasing of furniture, furniture and the small furniture. Purchasing, purchasing, furniture and the small, small, small furniture. Uh, the, the amount is, you see, uh, 12,000. Uh -huh. Okay. So purchasing of external services, purchasing external services, external services, uh, external services as a uh, thirty thousand, thirty thousand. Uh, purchasing, uh, okay, salary and the expenses, they they pay salary and the social expenses, okay, salaries and the social expenses. Salaries and the uh, social expenses, social expenses, um, amounting uh, seventy thousand, seventy thousand, um, and um, we have a uh, uh, miscellaneous expenses, miscellaneous, miscellaneous expenses. Uh -huh. Miscellaneous expenses of uh, 10,000. 10,000. Okay. Uh -huh. I think that uh, uh, it's an, uh, uh, no other expenses here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Oh, two, three, four, five. Yes, sir. So now here we have a solid production. This is element of income. Because when you when you sell product, you receive money. So this means that sales pro sales must be included in the side of income. Okay. So now let us make total expenses. Okay. A total expenses. Uh -huh. And let us make total uh, income. Income. A total income in the 150,000. Okay, so now let us add. Uh, 47. 77. 94. 94. 84. 84. 94. 94. Uh, this is the total expenses. So now, the question is it this. We are required to calculate the uh, added value or uh, profit. So A, your question number one is the A, value added in, obtained by taking expenses, uh, sorry, sorry, income, income minus expenses. Or you uh, you can take a selling price minus buying uh, buying price. So now we have expenses amount. Uh, income is this one. Uh -huh, income is one hundred fifty thousand minus ninety four thousand. Then the answer. Uh, yes, ninety four thousand. Uh -huh. So let us make calculation here. Let us make calculation here. Uh -huh. One hundred fifty thousand uh, minus ninety four ninety four thousand uh -huh. zero 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 uh -huh. six uh, six. Uh, 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 14 minus uh, here we have uh, 56,000. Yeah, and then uh, now let us see uh, B, which is a uh, value added tax, which obtained by taking value added times 18 percent. So now uh, value added. Uh, 16 uh, 46,000 times the uh, times the 18 18 percent. Now uh, we've obtained uh, 56,000 times 18 uh, divided by uh, 100 and let us simplify. Okay, now the answer. Okay, so uh, the value added tax uh, obtained by taking the value uh, added uh, times 18 percent. 18 percent is the tax rate of uh, is tax is the value added uh, tax rate. Uh, now so, uh, we have to get the value added uh, this amount and the times uh, times 18 percent. Then we obtain. Uh, let us uh, use the calculator. Um, five or six, uh, five or six zero uh, times eighteen percent. Eighteen percent. The answer is uh, the answer is uh, one zero zero eighty zero ten thousand and the eight ten. Okay, so now uh, I think that you are very understood how we can calculate value added tax. Uh, now, let us see importance of paying tax.